Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. If you are new to our channel, welcome. And if you are a returning supporter, welcome back. So in my household, it's me, my husband, and this little guy, our little boy Harrison. And if you enjoy our dinner videos this week, we definitely hope that you will give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And Harrison agrees, right? Yes, he does. So for dinner tonight, we are having a really easy stromboli recipe. So let's jump in and let me show you how to do it. So we are making stromboli tonight. <clears throat> Excuse me. You just need a thin crust pizza crust. And all I've done so far is just spread it out. There were a few holes in it, so I had to go in and just kind of pinch the holes together. And then I put some pizza sauce on there. Now I have made this recipe before and if you use a lot of pizza sauce, your dough is gonna be very soggy. So I used a scant amount of pizza sauce and then if you know Howard needs more sauce or I need more sauce, we can just dip it in the pizza sauce. So I have some pizza sauce. The next thing that I'm gonna do is layer it with some pepperoni. So I have, <clears throat> excuse me, this box of pepperoni and two packages came in it. So I'm just gonna use one package and then I am going to layer it with some Italian sausage. So it calls, the recipe calls for half a pound of Italian sausage. So I cooked the whole pound and then I divided it. I'm just gonna use half of it um, for this stromboli tonight and I'll put the other half in the freezer for another stromboli or for spaghetti sauce or what have you. And then after I layer on the Italian sausage, I'm going to sprinkle on two cups of mozzarella cheese. So let's get started. So I have the stromboli all rolled up and the most time consuming part of this is rolling up the stromboli. So I have it um, seam side down and I'm going to transfer this to a um, baking pan and I'm going to put some more parchment paper on the baking pan. I'm gonna put about five slits in the dough just so that it can breathe and then I am going to bake this for about 25 minutes or until it's golden brown. My oven is preheated already to 350 degrees and so when it's ready of course I'll show you guys what it looks like. So here is the stromboli. I ended up baking this for about 35 minutes and I cut it whoops, so you guys could see the inside and here it is. And here it is, the parchment paper got a little burnt, but it's nice and golden brown. <laughs> and that is Harrison going wild in the background. And then I'm just gonna be serving it with some marinara um, or pizza sauce on the side. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having cream of cilantro soup. It is so good. And I did record a video of um, how to make this recipe. And I like cream, I like cilantro, and Howard is not a fan of cilantro, but even he likes this soup. It's pretty mild in flavor. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having pulled pork sandwiches, and here is the pulled pork. I picked this up at Sam's Club on a recent grocery haul, and here is what the packaging looks like. And Howard and I tried it, and it's really good. This is our first time having it. And it's already seasoned, already smoked, fully cooked. All you do is put it in the oven, wrap it tightly with foil. Well, I'm sorry. You take it out of the packaging. It comes kind of vacuum sealed. And you put it in a pan, you add a little bit of water, you cover it tightly with foil, and you cook it for about 50 minutes. And this is what it looks like. It has a really good smoky flavor and smells delicious, tastes delicious. And I think this 
was $9.99, I think. So it was a pretty good price for two pounds of fully cooked pork. So we made sandwiches out of it. So here is my plate. So I like my bun toasted, so I um, put a little butter on it and I toasted it and I added a little bit of barbecue sauce to mine. And I'm having mine with um, Cheetos white cheddar bites. Here they are. And these are pretty good, it's my first time having them. And then this is Howard's plate and he is having his with seasoned wedge potatoes from um, Walmart. And on his sandwich, he doesn't like his toasted, so his is plain. He added mayo. As you can see, he added some cheddar cheese and a bunch of avocado, and his pork is under there too. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. All right, guys, so let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. Howard grilled out wings for us. So on this plate, we have some lemon pepper wings, and this is the seasoning that I used. It is from Fiesta, which is a grocery store here in Texas. And then, of course, you know that's Harrison in the background. And then we also have some jerk wings. So we have jerk wings right here, and then just barbecue wings right here. So this is Howard's favorite jerk seasoning. And then for the barbecue wings, he just added a bunch of seasonings and then he added this um, for the barbecue sauce. We are having some macaroni and cheese from Aldi. And then we are having some microwavable corn from Kroger. So here it is on the plate. We've got the mac and cheese and the corn. And, hello Harrison. <laughs> Every time I turn the camera on him, he stops. All right, so anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some Asian food. So I made fried rice, green onion and mushroom fried rice. I make that all the time. I told you guys a couple of uh, dinner videos ago that I had a bunch of these fried rice seasoning mix packages from different brands. And so this is the last one that I um, am using up today. Um, my favorite is Kikkoman. So I probably won't buy or try out any other fried rice seasonings, but if I do buy one, it will be Kikkoman. But um, so here is the fried rice and it's pretty good, it has a good flavor. And then we are having egg rolls. I kind of overcooked it a little bit in the air fryer, but it's still okay. We are using the egg rolls by, um, I think it's Taipei pork egg rolls and I just popped them in the air fryer for apparently way too long. And then we are having some beef lo mein um, from Aldi. I picked this up a, I don't know, maybe a month or so ago, I can't remember. Um, so here is the picture, a picture of it on the package and it says uh, lo mein noodles with beef bok choy, onion strips, carrots, and a savory garlic sauce. And here it is on the plate. So what I don't care for, and this is just a minor detail, is you you probably can't tell, well, I guess you can. So the noodles are very short, like they're cut, um, which I don't really care for. I wish they had kept the noodles long, because in the picture, it looks like they're just regular long lo mein noodles, but they're not. Um, they're very short noodles. <laughs> I don't know, that's just me. And Howard and I tasted them, and it's okay. Um, I thought I had had this a long time ago, but it doesn't taste like I remember, so I may be wrong. But in any case, when I bought this, I bought two. So we have one more to get through. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.